All right, got my arm of felony with some upgrades to the bottom of the chassis here. So what I've done tonight is I've installed these aluminum side skirts. Five piece aluminum skid plate set. and a carbon fiber front splitter. All pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do. They do give you some hardware for the skid plates. I didn't use all of it, but I used mostly the stock hardware. So you can see that stock hardware there. The skid plates first. Stock hardware there. Stock hardware there. Stock hardware there. Stock hardware there and there. And of course, stainless hardware they give you right there. Because obviously there weren't any hardware in those two holes. Those are empty, empty holes. So, but it's cool that Arma has actually holes there. So it's like they um, work with these aftermarket companies to knowing that they're going to have this stuff available, which is kind of cool. So obviously, that stainless hardware there is came with the skid plates, and those holes are already there. I don't have to drill or anything like that. So that is nice. So Arma, well done. And of course, these side skirts. I just removed the stock plastic runners that were there and put these side skirts on there a lot. Obviously a lot bigger and stick out a lot more, a lot more. And they're aluminum, so they're gonna be a lot more rigid. Same thing down here, obviously stock hardware. And that one as well. And then of course, the carbon fiber splitter here. What I really liked about this one is that it, the hardware is flush with the splitter now. It's not sticking out at all, like it does on the stock one, and then some of the other ones, carbon fiber, and I think some aluminums I've seen, they still stick out. So car, countersunk is the way to go. And yeah, of course that's stock hardware as well. Of course, they have these holes here. I just put some tape inside here, so just there's just no dirt getting in there because those are pretty good size holes. So, put some tape over top of that just to make sure not getting any dirt in there. I laid down the uh, two pieces of tape. Non sticky side is actually right here, and then I put the sticky side over top of that to uh, so that way there's not dirt sticking to this because this is. Not sticky, of course. It's glossy because that's the non-sticky side of the tape. Then I put the sticky side of the tape over top of that and huh, turned out good. Turned out good. All right, so let me go over the actual pricing here real quick. Now, before I do that, this is the uh, stock plastic splitter which is okay I mean there's nothing wrong with it maybe you can tell that you know, carbon fiber is the way to go and this is smaller and still heavier than that carbon fiber one which is kind of kind of wild of course the stock side skirts which is basically they're more like rails than anything else and so the side skirts, they're made by RC Speed Monsters. They were $45.99. A little pricey, but I think they're gonna work out nicely. The skid plates, these are made by this company called YZX. And this is the packaging that it came with. There's no part number or anything like that with this. This stuff is made in the USA. So that's nice. And of course, this is the Packaging that came with the uh, carbon fiber splitter. Obviously, this is the company, Luxury RC. 
Once again, no part number, but this is made in the USA as well, which is nice to have pop-ups that are made in the USA, most definitely. So the carbon fiber front splitter was $39.99. Of course, that's luxury RC. We made to that. And then the five-piece skid plate, that was $34.50. Of course, like I said, it was made by YZX. So yeah, $34.50 for that. All this stuff's a little pricey, but I mean, but not too bad. I mean, there's other stuff that's pricier out there, so yeah, pretty cool. I am liking it. Oh, some leftover hardware that I didn't use, I just didn't need it. This kit is for that, that's for the uh, the skid plates, and then this kit is for the limitless and the infraction so there might be some different hardware for those i don't know or maybe not who knows and i do have some other hardware that i gotta go over real quick let me pull this body down real quick let's stay all right there are two there we go there are two nuts right there 5.5 millimeter those nuts have to be threaded onto these screws. Let's go over to the other side real quick. I'm using a water jug to hold this up, and that's how I actually used it to hold it up to work on it too. It worked out nicely. Yeah, these screws right here have to thread onto those nuts. It's a little bit of a pain, not a huge pain, but so basically I just put my nut, my finger on the nut, and just line it up, put the screw through, and just and then just, you know, screw it, you know, by hand. And then for both of those, and then once I got it, you know, on there, I just took a pair of channel locks and uh, grabbed a hold of each nut and then just tightened it down with a driver, with a hex driver. I tried using a nut driver on those and I just couldn't get it in there. My good, you know, nut drivers are just, you know, they're too long. And then my nut drivers that come with my RDRs, like the, uh, like I got one that came with a low C and one that came, a bunch of them that come with my Traxxas vehicles. They're just a little too big to get in there too. So I just used a pair of channel locks and boom, done. So that worked out. That worked out. So yeah, turned out nicely. Beyond the Blue RC, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and keep on RCing out there.